So Tinder thinks that Vanity Fair shouldn't make snap judgments about them and instead should get to know them before deciding if they're worthwhile. Tinder. The app Tinder said this. <laughs> The September issue of Vanity Fair is now available online because magazines are hella bad at months, and there's an article in it called Tinder and the Dawn of the Dating Apocalypse. So the article by Nancy Jo Sales is about how 20-somethings have really embraced the app but are also sort of down on it because it's all part of hookup culture and less meaningful relationships, and even people who are buying into it don't seem that excited about it. One investment banker named Dan says that it's a lot like ordering seamless but you're ordering a person. Amy Watanabe of a sake bar in New York in East Village dubs the situation Pussy Affluenza, a wealth of options that distorts the way guys would usually think about sex and dating and relationships. It's a rough disease to have. Anyway, whoever runs Tinder's social media account really did not take to this article at all and decided to let Vanity Fair have it last night. A major point in the article that Tinder disputes is a survey from Global Web Index that points out that 30% of Tinder users are married. Tinder says that the number is more like 1.7%. Now that there's no Ashley Madison, they might give them a run for their money. So the tweet started out pretty snarky. A uh, little known fact, sex was invented in 2012 when Tinder was launched. <laughs> but then it morphed into this manifesto about what they're calling hashtag Generation Tinder and how young people are using the app to make connections and create experiences beyond hookups. Nobody believes you. Our data tells us that the vast majority of Tinder users are looking for meaningful connections. It's about meeting new people for all kinds of reasons. Travel, dating, relationships, friends, and a ton of marriages. I have not heard of a single marriage that's happened via Tinder. Talk to our many users in China and North Korea who find a way to meet people on Tinder even though Facebook is banned. And it's not to dissuade us from building something that is changing the world. Hashtag Generation Tinder. Hashtag okay, we get it. Some pundits are already taking issue with companies' claims about North Korea, because there's only about 1,024 items IP addresses in the entire country, and the internet is tightly controlled by the government. So that means like one guy found one guy or one girl like, oh, you also have internet? Cool, let's make out. Mashable followed up and discovered that there are only a couple users, they're all white guys, and they're outside of Pyongyang just swiping in to see what's going on over there. Sales even responded to this one. Is Kim Jong-un on Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> Also, Tinder later said on Twitter, you could have talked about how everyone on Tinder is authenticated through Facebook. But then how does it work in North Korea, you dum-dums? They don't have Facebook. Nancy Sales has, of course, taken to her own Twitter to respond and retweet all these blog posts making fun of Tinder's overreaction. She even clarified later, my article isn't even about Tinder, comma, lol. She also decided to be super helpful and asked the Tinder Twitter, are you okay? Tinder has now issued a formal statement saying, we have a passionate team that truly believes in Tinder. Our intention was to highlight the many statistics and amazing stories that are sometimes left unpublished, and in doing so, we overreacted. Let's look at some tweets. Kevin Rose says, it's incredible how defensive tech companies get when journalists write non-embargoed, non-chaperoned stories. Jay Smooth says, Tinder's social media manager currently outside Vanity Fair office blasting you ought to know out of a big boombox. <laughs> That's great. That's nice imagery. Sarah N. Emerson says, Is Tinder gonna tell Vanity Fair she has blood coming out of her wherever? Trumped! And at Darth says, Reading that Tinder timeline is probably what most her Tinder dates are like, to be honest. Yeah, actually. So what do you guys think? Do you think Vanity Fair is being mean and unfair to Tinder? Do you guys know anybody who has gotten married or had successful relationships through the app? Are you one of those people? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that sweet, sweet stuff. I'm Whitney Moore. Bye.